I know people talk about consistency a lot. And now I want to give you a cheat code for consistency. Consistency doesn't just come because of you working hard consistently. Because if your heart loses the passion, even when you are doing the work, it will be shown in the work that you do that the passion is lost. It will be shown in the work that you do that you are just trying to keep up, you know, in the grind so that people won't laugh at you that you've given up. You don't need a consistency that you've lost your passion. You don't need a consistency that you are actually, you know, doing the work in stress and anxiety. You need to work from a place of faith and rest. And that is the kind of consistency that God wants you to operate in. So now what is the cheat code for consistency that I found in the scriptures? You have to understand and realize that consistency cannot go without strength and courage. And I discovered this in Joshua chapter 1 when God was speaking to Joshua. In chapter 1 verse 6, God told him, be strong and courageous. And again in verse 7, he said to him, be strong and very courageous. And I'm like, God, why do you keep on repeating this? It is like a reminder. And he said it again the third time as a sign of divine perfection. God is telling Joshua, be strong and courageous. Now, in verse 9, it said, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, God knows that in the journey of whatever thing you are doing, there are fears, there are discouragements along the journey, and there are places that you feel like giving up. And he told Joshua, you need strength and you need courage so that you will not give up. What is strength and courage? Of course, it's clear that you need strength physically, which is you need to walk in a place of faith and rest, whereby you are not walking from a place of being burnt out. You need bodily strength and passion, and then you need courage, which is mentally and psychologically, you are sound. To me, it's like God is saying, you have to check make your mental health as much as you're doing the work you're doing. You have to check make your physical health. I hope that whatever you're doing is not affecting your health physically and spiritually like mentally now a caveat to this that came to my mind was why did god not tell joshua i uh, will make you strong and courageous he said to him be strong and courageous which is it is his responsibility it is my responsibility to be strong and courageous and that is the only place that i can come up to have consistency by the time i lose my strength and courage my mental passion i can't keep up with the consistency to do the work so when i embrace consistency i have to realize that the cheat code to consistency is strength and courage bodily strength mind strength health strength i have to check make that i have to keep myself healthy is it by exercising i need it I will exercise and still trust God. Is it by eating right? I will eat right and still trust God. Is it by finding rest? I will find rest and still trust God. Don't kill yourself. You have only one body. Don't kill yourself in doing the work. Don't do the work in a place of being burnt out. But do it from a place of rest. Mentally, you need to check make yourself. Am I okay? Where is my passion right now? Strength and courage. So in the places of fear, God is saying, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. In the place of discouragement, he's saying, don't be discouraged. I am with you. Don't be discouraged. I am walking with you. You're not walking alone. <music>